Heather Chandler, I'm excited to come to your whole brain escape room. You're in the social media class that we train, and I want to hear the real backstory of how you and your husband decided to commit your lives to creating the best escape room in the Triangle area. Absolutely. My, well, my husband and I have a background in making video games. Between us, we have about 35 years of experience in the video game industry. I've worked at Activision, EA, and Ubisoft, and I most recently was the senior producer on Fortnite. Um, my husband has worked at EA, Ubisoft, and Sony, and his role has been a designer and writer. Um, most of the time, I have been a producer, and my responsibilities are to work directly with the development team to help them make the features that are needed in the game and then get those tested and get that released to the players. And my husband's role has been uh, as a writer and designer. So he focuses on writing game narrative and kind of weaving the game design into the story so that the players have a really fun and interactive experience. So we have devoted our lives actually to making games. And as we got to thinking about different ways that we could work together and maybe have a business, um, someone suggested that we start an escape room, which is very funny because when we sat and thought about what types of skills we would need to do this, we realized that he had sort of all of the creative aspects covered and he would be the room designer and that I had all the operations and business development covered with my experience as a producer. And as we were sitting around trying to think of a name, um, I was trying to kind of come up with what sets us apart and what makes us special. And I was joking that I said, yeah, it's really interesting because you have two people in here who have very different backgrounds and very different skill sets and we're gonna be doing, do two very different things with the business. I said, between us, we have a whole brain. And we kind of laughed and I was like, that's it, whole brain escape. So whole brain escape is, uh, the name represents my husband and I and what we bring to the business. He is the creativity and I am the logic and organization. But it also speaks to the experience that the players will have when they come to our escape room. Uh, my husband designs all the puzzles and the pu there's a variety of puzzles in here for all different brain types. So when you come with your team, you might say, ah, I would never get out of an escape room. I find them too hard. I say, well, we have a way for you to solve a puzzle and have fun because there's gonna be something here that you can do. If you like math, if you like mazes, if you like observation puzzles, if you like logic puzzles, if things to do with colors, if you have a team with you and it's a diverse team with different ways of thinking, you're probably gonna do pretty well in the escape room. Would you tell me about your first two rooms because you kind of let me peek in, but they're secret and I, I'm sworn to secrecy <laughs> uh, and tell me you've got two rooms open already. Yes. They're incredibly exciting. So describe the two rooms that you, you're starting with. We have two rooms open. Our plan is to have four rooms total before the end of 2019. I'm actually trying to push the project manager in me is pushing to get all four rooms open by the summer. But the first two rooms, one is themed on the 80s in which you are a special agent sent from the future to basically heist a valuable artifact from the collector's lair. The room takes you back to your time in the 80s for those who were born in the 80s. It's got lots of fun, nostalgic items. What's nice about it though is that you don't actually need to know anything about the 80s in order to escape the room. Every puzzle or clue in there does not require you to know any type of 80s trivia or anything like that. All the information is in the room, so it's a great way for parents to come with their kids, have a nice bonding experience, and the kids will enjoy taking a trip back to the 80s and learning and enjoying some of the stuff that the parents saw. Uh, the second room that we have is uh, Escape the Supervillain's Lair. And in this scenario, you have been trapped by the nefarious Quizzler. She has taken your powers and has uh, trapped you in her lair, and you have to get out with the special power key within 60 minutes before she comes back and your powers are gone forever. This room is uh, set in 1963, so you get a little bit of that retro nostalgia throwback, um, especially when it comes to technology. It's a lot of fun, lots of different cool superhero things in there, and again, no outside knowledge is required. All of the puzzles, everything you would need to solve them is located right in the rooms. 
Excellent. Now, how can they find out more and participate? If you're interested in trying one of our experiences, I would say start with our website um, at www.wholebrainescape.com. From there, you can find out about our rooms and you can book your experience. All of the rooms are booked online. And so you can set up with your group of up to eight people per room. You have two options. You can have a public booking or a private booking. A public booking is one uh, where you might book two of the slots in the room, which leaves six slots open. And so then someone you might know might book a couple slots and then another group might book a couple slots. That's really a lot of fun if you're interested in meeting new people. If you're like, hmm, I really just wanna kinda stay with my friends or my family or my coworkers, then you can book a private experience. Um, if you have a minimum of four people in your group, you can convert that to a private experience at no additional cost and then um, you would just pay for any extra people that came into the room after that. So I think it's a nice way to offer a private experience at a low cost without having you book the entire room if you have less than eight people. Who are people that tend to enjoy this? You know, it's been really interesting because we've done uh, beta tests uh, all month of December for the rooms to kind of test out the puzzles. My husband was really busy taking all the feedback in and making tweaks. And I was really surprised at the wide variety of people who enjoy escape rooms. We had one group that was three generations. It was a grandmother, uh, their 15 year old granddaughter, and then the daughter and the husband. They came in, they had a great time. We had a group of high school boys come in. Uh, they tried our villain room and they escaped with you know less than a minute to spare. We've had work groups come in. So we had a woman who runs an adult day services center brought her staff in and they had a great time. Uh, we're ha hosting birthday parties. So I get a lot of requests. Hey, my 12 year old, my 13 year old wants to have a birthday party. So they come and do an escape room and then they can check out one of the lovely places in downtown Apex later for lunch. We also host a lot of corporate groups. Um, in a few days, we'll be hosting a group from Holly Springs that works at one of the biotech companies. She was interested in finding a way to have her team have a fun bonding experience where they can kind of just come and, and do the room. And then I'm also talking to some other uh, companies about coming in and doing some more team building and team training where they would come and do a room and then we would do sort of a breakout session afterwards where we talked a bit about team building and communication. I'm willing to work with anybody who's interested in doing some really fun team training or leadership training. Just give me a call or email me and we can talk about what you need. One more thing, uh, I want to give Martin Brossman a huge shout out. He has been really helpful and one of my biggest supporters as I started on this new venture. I met him when I took his social media management class at NC State and I have actually used mm, pretty much every single piece of information he gave in that class to help establish my social media presence online. I went from zero followers to 350 followers in about a month on my Facebook page. I've found it really a pleasure to work with Martin and he has lots of great ideas on how I can grow my business.